Hey everyone, um, I found a tag on YouTube is uh, either or tag with seven questions. Excuse me. Um, the questions are there in the in the description <laughs> description box for you, so you can reply back to me. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. So our video response would be even better. So let's get on with the questions. Question one: Would you rather read sh re read Shakespeare or watch professional bowling? Um, I really am not a sporty person, so I would definitely prefer to read Shakespeare over watching sport. I know that Shakespeare's language is a little hard to understand, especially for us now because it was written such a long time ago. But I actually would prefer Shakespeare over sport. I would rather have my teeth pulled than watch sport, to be honest. Um, okay, question two. Would you rather have the same awful teacher for every subject or the same awful subject with cool teachers? Um, I think I would rather have the same teacher and different subjects because... The teacher is only part of the equation and the subjects have to be of an interest. Um, yeah, especially if it was something like maths or um, gym or sports or physical education, whatever you like to call that class. Um, if I had to do that all the time with different teachers, I'd be like, ugh. Um, yeah, I hated doing physical education at school. The only thing I think I really liked was swimming, um, but having said that, I did, I used to do well at math at school, but I still would not want to do it uh, all day, every day. I'm not one of these geeky, nerdy people that, well, I suppose that's been a bit mean, but I couldn't do it, I couldn't do math all the time. Um, so yeah, I'd rather have different subjects because I do get bored with things sometimes. And if you've got different subjects, even though you've got a rough and teacher, um, yeah, maybe having different subjects might make the person a little bit more interesting or a little bit easier to tolerate. Yeah. Okay, next question. Would you rather, question three this is, would you rather have a bronze body with no sunlight or no tan with lots of sunshine. Um, I don't tan anyway, so I'm going to go with a no tan and lots of sun. Um, yeah, it's winter time here at the moment. It's really grey and dull and icky, and it's been raining a lot. And to have the sunshine would be absolutely beautiful because when we have a nice, beautiful, lovely, clear day, it really is. Um, a nice place to be. So yeah, I would definitely rather have no, no tan with sunshine. Okay, question four. Would you rather eat only chicken for dinner every day or never have chocolate again? This one's a no-brainer for me. I would rather eat chicken every day than give up chocolate. Um, yeah, I like, I love chocolate. Um, yeah. So I would rather eat chicken every day than have to give up chocolate. Having said that, if I had to choose what kind of um, chicken to eat, I would actually want a variety of the way the chicken was done. But I wouldn't want to eat like roast chicken every day. I'd want it done like stir fries or yeah, roast or... Yeah, different types, done in different ways. I couldn't eat it the same way every day. But yeah, I do quite like chicken, so yeah. Okay, question five. Would you prefer to give, would you rather give a really bad gift or no gift at all? Um, I have actually done this in the past where I have, uh, I was really hustled on by the way, it's only about six. And I bought my mum this really stupid gift. And it was a little egg about that big. And it had a little kiwi bird in it. And I thought it was really cool. And she appreciated it because I bought it for her. But looking back at it now, I thought, what was I thinking? It was a really bad gift. But 
even if you give a really bad gift, at least it shows that you've thought about, at least you've gotten something, at least you've remembered, like whether it's their birthday or whatever, um, or even if like, you just give them a card, I think that's better than no gift at all. I do that sometimes with my dad because I never know what to get him. And you ask him, oh, what do you want for Father's Day or your birthday or Christmas? And he'll say, I don't want nothing. So, um, yeah, I always make sure I get them cards. So, yeah, I definitely think a bad gift is better than nothing because at least it shows that you've remembered. Um, question six. Would you rather be caught with your zipper down or with toilet paper on your shoe? Um, I think it would depend on what I was wearing with the zipper. Um, like if I had a short t-shirt on and you could clearly see the zipper, then I think it would be better to have toilet paper stuck to your shoe that you can... Yeah, it's not... I don't think it's as embarrassing. Um, being caught with your zipper down, um... It's, I think it's more embarrassing than having toilet paper on your shoe. It's probably not as bad if you've got long, sh um, like you know those um, really long tops. If you've got one of those on and it sort of covers the zipper, then it's probably not as bad. But if you're wearing something where you can see the zipper undone, um, yeah, it's. I would definitely rather go with the toilet paper. Um, yeah. Okay, question seven. Would you rather be able to see people's minds or control people's minds? Oh my goodness, who writes these? Um, I don't know if I really want to be able to do either, to be honest. Um, controlling people, I think, is wrong. Um, I think everyone should be free and have the freedom to do, um, to be themselves, to do what they want with within reason like okay there's laws that we have to live by and as long as you're breaking the law not breaking law I think people should be able to yeah like live their lives how they choose like without you know controls that's an ideal world of course um so but I don't know if I'd really want to be able to read people's minds either because um, they might be thinking some really horrible things, or they may be um, like slightly like psychopathic or something. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd want to be able to know what someone is thinking. Like, I would love to be able to know what my rabbit is thinking. I'd love to be able to talk to animals, but to be able to read people's minds, no, I don't think I'd rather want to do that. So for that question I'm going to say neither because I don't like either options. I think they're both as bad as each other. Okay that brings me to the end of this seven question tag. I hope you enjoyed my answers and I look forward to hearing from you. Catch you next time. Bye.